So, good morning. Uh, magpapakilala ko muna ngayon. Ako si Cesar Ian Soliben. At ako po ang um, di-discuss about sa quail production and management. So, we have the different breeds of quails in the Philippines. Now, and not many people know that quail racing is one profitable business. Those who have ventured on its usually hobbyist and not particular on income generation. In fact, all the popular breeds used for egg and meat commercial production are just sub-varieties of quaternic species, which is capable of producing eggs throughout the year. Learning the different breeds of quail in the Philippines and how to run the business in the key. Now the objectives is at the end of this module, you will be able to identify the different breeds of quails in the Philippines and enumerate the proper steps in starting a quail racing business. So lesson one, you have the breeds and selection of healthy stocks. Now, this is the different breeds found in the Philippines. We have the native. Yun po yung... Uh, Nakikita natin sa sa Bukid, Japanese Taiwan, Japanese Shetle, Negro, and Silver. Actually, marami pa po talagang ibang uh, different breeds in the Philippines. No? Yan lang po yung uh, na-search namin regarding sa quail. So, ito po yung native known as sa Pugo. No? Yan po yung nakikita, na, nakikita natin usually found in fields and forests sa bukid natin, sa rice fields since it is not suited for commercial production, it is usually treated as a pet no? we have the Japanese Taiwan also known as the Chinese quail commonly raised in the Philippines so ito po yung Japanese Taiwan ito po yung uh, ginagamit nila for layer dito sa Pilipinas ano po so next, we have the Japanese Shetle. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, ganyan po sila. Magkakaiba po yung gulay. This is a strain came from America. Similar to Japanese Taiwan, but its body and egg are bigger as rusty to reddish brown breasts. Then after hatching, male chick can be easily recognized because of its black feathers and female quail has a brown feather so madali lang silang ma-identify ano po then they can lay eggs up to 12 months recommended for commercial production because of its capability as heavy egg producer we have the quail negro yeah black or grayish black used as pet next we have the silver yeah silver quail most common mutation and has all feathers in varying shades of light pastel gray. From the Canaan, Valley, Egypt. Ayan. Good breeders and can be used as pet. Karamihan po yung mga ganyan gumagamit is sa Amerika na po, sa ibang bansa. Pero meron din mangilan-ngilan, pero dito sa Pilipinas, usually pero uh, they can use as pet sa kanilang bahay. Next, did you know that there is a new breed available in the market today? A cross between the Japanese Shetal and Japanese Taiwan is the new breed today. Its offspring is commonly used in egg production and can lay eggs for 12 to 14 months. Male and female brood can already be determined at one day old. Through this crossing breed, the good characteristics of both breeds are obtained. Ano? Lesson 2. Selection of healthy stocks. It is recommended to start with quail pullets about 30 to 35 day old. Some pointers in selecting quails are Number 1. Body confirmation. Choose birds with uniform size. Record the parent stocks. For the beginners, it is recommended to start with the Japanese shuttle breeds. It's because of its characteristics 
as heavy egg producers. So, ang ginagamit naman nila, usually pag um, uh, brooder stage, ano po, hindi mo na makikita yung mga male pagdating sa brooding. Kasi bago nila sa 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 kanilang sila. Sa kanilang farm, usually ginagawa nila, hindi na, hindi na lumalabas yung male. Pinapatay na nila. Ang lumalabas na lang doon, yung mga female. Kasi they are useful, used for breeders and um, layer. Next. Body confirmation. The feather should be tidy and neat. Avoid buying those with streaks of black or white feathers. This could be signs of inbreeding. Choose birds with uniform size. Mature 60 days old. Japanese quail weights an average of 120 grams, while a pullet 30 to 35 days old would only average 100 grams. A mature American quail weights an average 220 grams, while the pullet 200 grams. Next, record the parent stocks, size of eggs. Ang ginagawa nila dito, pag size of eggs, usually tinitimbang nila. Laying efficiency, 65% average. Laying efficiency within 300 days laying period is desirable. Now, growth rate, body weight, or body weight. Price stocks. The price of whale range from 8 pesos for a chick, 35 pesos for a pullet. Then the stocks are commonly available in the provinces of Bulacan and Quezon. So yun, ang ginagawa ng mga um, mga businessman naman pagdating sa brooding, nag-order naman sila sa mga Bulacan and Quezon kasi sila yung nag-brooding talaga. Sila po yung uh, nagdedetermine kung male or female yung ulit natin. At the same time, yung mga businessman na, naman dito sa around Sabela, Quirino, Dito sa region to, doon din sila kumukuha. Kinukuha na nila for uh, female. Dito din naman nila inaalagaan. Ano po? So, they lay about 300 eggs in their first year of life. After they produce about 150 to 175 eggs in second year. Eggs production gradually decrease after their first year of laying period. Size of flock. The size of initial stock totally depends on the financial capacity of the racer. However, it is not advisable to start big. No? Quails are easy to raise, but as a beginner, you should first get the necessary experience before going into large scale. Quails multiply rapidly, and therefore expansion will not be a problem. For business purposes, a beginner can start with 1,000 pullets. Yes, that's true po. So, pag beginner ka, lalong-lalo na po sa quail layer, is nag-start po sila 1,000. So, let's proceed to another topic. Feeds and feeding, housing, and management of quail. Overview. One of the important things to consider to be successful in quail racing is to practice the proper cultural management. Cultural management practices determine the extent of the potential performance of quail. In this module, all the needed inputs, recommendations, and appropriate technologies are discussed from location, housing, and equipment, layer management, feeding management, up to record keeping. At the end of this module, we'll able to identify the proper location for the project, determine the materials and equipment needed for the quail housing, describe the appropriate management of layers, identify the rec recommended feeds and feeding management, and describe the importance of record keeping. 
Ito po yung lessons natin. Number one, location. Napaka-importante yan. Housing and equipment. Lightning management. Brooding and rearing management. Layer management. Feeds and feeding management. And record keeping. One, location. Ito po. It is important to house quail in a protective environment as their size and grounded nature make them easy and preferred targets for predators. Napaka-importante po yan yung housing. Na yung location po ng housing. No? Mostly yung mga nakikita namin dito sa Isabela. Pagdating naman po sa housing, eh, maganda yung location. At the same time, may mga puno-puno na, na mag-absorb po ng bahong amoy. No po, yung mga puno. O pwede din kayong magtanim po dun sa mga gilid-gilid ng mga flower para hindi po talaga mga ngamoy yung weed. Ano po. The same time, dapat po air ventilated yung house para hindi naman po sila uh, may stress yung weed. Next. A study was conducted to determine how different type of music influences the, the performance. Egg quality, behavior and economics of raising Japanese quails. Results show the following. Quails exposed with reggae music significantly improve eating habit and are less aggressive compared to quails provided with metal music. Provision of random and classical music increases egg production and improved feed conversion ratio. The consequently increases profit than the normal management practices in quails. Reared without any exposure to music. Napaka-importante po talaga yung music. Ano po? Even radio. Ano? Maglagay po tayo ng music. O parang may improve po yung paglalay nila, paglalay nila yung, ng egg. At the same time, magiging aggressive sila. Para pag may music po kasi, hindi sila mabibigla pag may tao o, o kaya naman another um, another marinig nila na ingay. Parang ganun. Magugulat kasi sila. And yung quail na yun, pag nagulat, may stress. Ano? So, dapat talaga may music or kaya radio na kanilang naririnig. It is also recommended that the farm should be located in quiet place. Noise results to stress. Yan, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung maingay. Pag may maingay silang ibang ingay na naririnig, yon magre-result sa kanila, stress. Fly up wide, heating their heads, broken skulls. Yes. Lalong-lalo uh, na yung space requirement. Pag uh, meron silang naririnig na noise, na kakaiba doon sa paligid nila yun magugulat at the same time nagpa-fly upward yun nga, sabi niya heating their heads no? then broken skulls yun, doon sila ma-injury then doon naman magkakos ng death provide music to accustoms the birds to noise with access clean water actually yung uh, access clean water uh, dapat at libitom po yung tubig. Hindi po dapat nawawala ng tubig sa kanila. It is also recommended that the farm should be located in, sabi ko kanina, well ventilated. Quail's temperature is high. Ano po? They are proven to be more productive when cultured in areas with temperature ranging from 31 to 35 degrees Celsius. Then, pag cold season naman tayo, maintain 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, with area waste disposal. Raising quail is similar to chicken. Rearing but will only occupy a small area. Quail cage should be well ventilated and be protected from temperature disturbance such as extreme heat or chilly season. Therefore, the east-west position should be considered. It should be protected from predator animals such as birds, rodents, and cats. Quails should not be loose 
as they don't have homing instinct and will get lost of the they are released no so birds raised for hobby they can be raised on floors birds raised for eggs or meat they can be raised in the cage so yun po yung pagkakaiba nila pag hobby they can raised on the floor ano po pag birds raised for eggs or meat they can raised in the cage ano po then web example for housing yeah and then pag meron po kayong kulungan ng baboy pwede din nating i-convert it into quail housing ano po actually napakaliit lang naman po ang ano ang magagamit ng space requirement for quail housing ano po ayan housing and equipment management kung napapansin ninyo kung sa layer chicken layer meron pong uh, eto meron pong ganyan meron din ang quail meron din ganyan ayan yung mapapansin niyo paglagyan ng tubig ano po ayan one of the advantage in quail racing is the relatively small space that is required. Commensurately, the cost of putting up in cage is cheaper. The materials commonly used in making quails are plywood, one port inch chicken wire, one by one lumber to serve as framework. For every stage in quail's life, space requirement varies. This is true in the case of other fowls and even livestock animals. The following will help guide the racers in determining the space required for quails. Ito naman po, pagkulang ang budget, gamit na lang po tayo ng plywood, then, tsaka yung mga kahoy dyan, na pwede nating um, gawin na cage ng quail. Para hindi po tayo magastos. Ano po? Long narrow type cage for layered quail. Ito po, size 12 by 24 by 1. 850 to 1,000 layers po ang, ang kaya niyang uh, ang kaya niyang ikulong. Flooring and all sides made of chicken wire with 5 cm aperture. Top of cover made of chicken wire with 2 cm aperture. Ito yung tips. Don't provide too much space. Ano po? It will encourage too much movement. And then thereby, increasing the risk of injuries. So dapat po, yung space requirement ng well, eh talagang naka-fix po talaga. Hindi po kailangan na maluwang. Kasi ang iniisip naman ng mga par, mas maganda pag maluwang kasi naka nakaka nakakapaglaro sila which is not advisable ano po mag increase po yun ng injury ito naman po yung long narrow type cage it is recommended to ensure the synchronized feeding of quails si actual po to so yung nakikita ninyo yan po yung uh, long narrow type cage yan napapansin ninyo hindi po siya for layer ano po ganyan Nangingitlog din yung mga yan, pero hindi ganyan po yung type of uh, layer cage. Ano po? Long narrow type cage po ang tawag niya. Ayan. Ganyan po. Ito naman po, yung sinasabi ko na na layer, layer cage. Battery type cage po ang tawag. 4x8x1 by by stuck in 4 decks with 3 to 4 between decks. And then, rat proof. Ayan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, 1 feet po yung kataas. 4 feet po yung length. Then, 8 feet po dun sa kung gaano po sa taas niya. Ayan. 8 feet po. Then, 4 feet yung length. Tapos, yung width, 1 feet.
Next. For bloating stage. Yeah. For layering. Yeah. Mostly pag sa pagdating sa uh, backyard, ganyan po yung ginagamit nila. Yeah. PVC yung feeder nila. Then yung ano naman, yung feeder nila. Ayun po. Si Pardins po. Pwede din naman po pag PVC pero medyo dapat yung PVC eh mas malaki po yung size ng PVC natin. Kasi pag maliit po ng PVC, marami pong mahuhulog. Pagka kumakain po kasi ang quail, ano po, napaka ano yan, napaka wild pag kumain. Marami ding nahuhulog. Kaya naglalagay po kami ng screen sa feeder nila para pag kumain, hindi po hindi po magulo, hindi po wild. Ano po, kasi meron pong screen na nandun nakapatong sa feeder nila. Ano po? By the way, makikita natin sa presentation mamaya. Yan. Yan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, itong type of quage natin, ito po yung ginagamit nila mostly in Pampanga, Tarlac. Yan. Ganyan po ang ginagamit ng quail cage nila. Pero yung kanina, sa backyard lang pwede na po yun. Ano po? Pag farm po, ganyan ang ginagamit nila actually. Lighting management. The primary action of light is the stimulation of the secretion of hormones that activate the ovary and initiates ovulation. Laying quails require 12 to 14 hours of continuous light. Artificial lights can be provided either before they breaks and the evening or can be splitted. Even male quails are influenced by natural or artificial lights in production of semen. Interior walls of laying house should be white or light colored to, to reflect the light provided and reduce dark spots in the house. Now, napaka-importante po pala ng lighting management. Yung light, kailangan po talaga ng light kasi um, yun nga sabi niya kanina nag tumutulong din yun ng pagigitlog yung quail ano po? pag wala pong light actually lalong lalo na paggabi hindi sila nakakakain they are alive din paggabi kumakain din sila nangingitlog din yun mga yan paggabi lalong lalo na pag laying stage pag laying laying stage ano po kailangan talaga na ilawat hanggang dun sa pinakababang layer niya. Hindi po dapat na hindi na iilawan. Na po. Naiilawan yan, lalong-lalong na sa feeder nila. Para yun po kasi yung importante. Para yun, nakakakain sila paggabi. The same time, nakakaitlog. Nakakatulong yun para mangitlog ang pugo. Na po. Any sudden decrease in hours of light per day will cause decline in egg production. Then, light stimulates bird activity, thus less cannibalism occurs with birds grown in dark outhousing. Then, yun nga, sinabi ko kanina, magkakaroon din ng cannibalism. Ibig sabihin, uh, tinutuka-tuka nila yung kanilang kapwa-pugo. Nag-aaway-aaway sila kasi hindi nila na nakikita yung pagkain nila. Ano po? Nagtutuka-tuka. Hanggang sa nakakalbo na po yung pugo natin. Nagtataka po yung mga iba kung bakit nag, um, nagkakalbo yung pugo nila. Hindi nila alam. Cause of cannibalism. Ano? Dahil sa yun walang ilaw. O kaya naman nauubusan na pagkain. So kailangan talaga dapat at dibitong po yung pagkain nila. Use transparent curtains as much as possible to allow light to come in even it with rains so as to provide light. Switch on the lights 
especially during dark days so as to provide light continuously. Napapansin natin po, napaka-alive po nila, napaka-aggressive. Ayan, routing management. Ganyan po ang type ng cage nila. An average quail start laying after 45 days from hatching. Mag-start na po siya mag-lay. The production of cycle lasts for 300 to 320 days. And within this period, The laying efficiency should be maintained at 65%. Some of the major consideration when managing layers are, ito po, napaka-importante po yan, number one, ka, water. Ano po? At libitong po yan, hindi po dapat uh, nawawala ang tubig sa kanila. Kasi they are laying. Ano po, nangingitlog po yan. Kailangan na kailangan talaga ng water. Kaling, pag nagkakal po tayo, Napaka-importante din po yun. Kasi, ito po naman yung uh, disadvantage pagdating ng uh, laying mga layers. Pagdating po sa atin kasi, pag nag-layer tayo, hindi naman, nila, hindi naman nila may iwasan talagang merong lalaki. Paano natin madedetermine ng lalaki? So, maingay po sila. Maingay. So, Maingay, pagdating sa farm, sila po yung maingay talaga. No? So, kailangan natin i-determine yun. Makita natin yung maingay. Yung pugo na yun. At yun po yung ikal natin, kunin natin. Hindi po sila mangingitlog talaga. So, siya pang kumakain ng feeds. No? So, now, removal of waste. Kailangan palaga yung removal of waste I, kailangan dapat araw-araw ano po araw-araw para hindi para males po yung yung langaw the same time hindi po siya mabaho sa environment lalong lalo na pag maraming bahay nakatabi kailangan po talaga maglinis araw-araw light sinabi ko kanina kailangan yan light mixing of male birds Ito naman ang ginagamit ng pagmixing of male bird. Ito naman for uh, breeding for possess. Ano po, yung nagbe-breed po. And yung water. Like any bird, whale needs a lot of fresh and clean water all the time. Yun, yung ganina. Dapat talaga um, ad libitum. Especially for layers. Since water is essential for egg development, Whenever possible, flowing water should be maintained except when there is supply problem. In which case, water should be replaced three times daily. And the watering through must be clean every day. Ano po? Ayan. Nangita natin. Meron pong nagpapainom sa kanila. Ayan. Si Kuya. Kaling. Ayan. Seek abnormal, defective, and unprofitable or unproductive birds affect profitability of raising quails and should be calm. Ayan. There are two options of calling. Continuous or one-time calling for table egg quails. Males should be called as this also unproductive. 
pagkalim naman, uh, based on my experience, hindi naman pag nagkal na tayo, around 10 to 14 months, pag nagkakal tayo, eh, hindi naman po basta-basta, hindi katulad ng baboy, pag sinabing ibibenta, nandyan na yung bibili. Hindi naman po ganun kadali, magkal ng pugo. Pag nagkal tayo, pag ilan-ilan, meron, meron pong bibili, minsan wala. Ano po? po? Although, depende din po yan sa area. Depende din sa province. Dito kasi, uh, dun din po kami nahihirapan pagkaling. Ano po? Talagang ibibenta natin, market natin. Tulungan natin na mag-market yung sarili natin. Para at the same time, hindi tayo nahihirapan pagkaling. Removal of waste. Napaka-importante yan. Because of the high protein content of the quail feeds, quail manure has high ammonia content which will cause discomfort for the birds if it not removed daily. Removal of the manure can be facilitated by placing a manure receptacle or receiver under the cage. The common ways of handling manure from cage are use of polyethylene plastic sheets, use of polypropylene bags, and use for plywood or hard flex. Manure can be disposed by stocking and the manure barn to be sold of the vegetable grower or fish pond owner. Disposable of manure and clean or soaked sacks on river banks and streams as fish feeds and dumping into drainage system going to river stream. Biosecurity is very important as handling waste disposal as bacteria, virus, parasites are present. Pag hindi po kasi tayo nag-removal of waste, eh, mga nga mo, eh, the same time, magkakaroon po ng discomfort po yung birds natin, magkakasakit. Ano po? So, hindi po sila, that's not the eh, advisable po. Kailangan po talaga maglinis. Ano po? Kasi, ayun nga, sabi niya kanina, high content of uh, protein. High protein content. Magkakaroon po ng ammonia. Yung feeds. Ano po? yung tain nila magkakaroon po ng sakit pag hindi po tayo nag-release po ng waste. Ito po yung uh, easy spray for cleaning quail manure. Ganyan. Depende rin po sa farm. Ano po. Pero yan na po yung pinaka the best para the same time uh, yung time po natin mapapabilis Ano po, yung trabaho mapapabilis. Pagdating naman, pag, pag sako naman, o kaya polyethylene, kailangan talaga labhat po yun, and then papalitan ulit. Pero pagka ganyan po, easiest way for clean quail, eh, mapapabilis po yung pagpapaglilinis natin. Hardy flex po yan. Light. Laying quails may be given extra light up to midnight. This may allow the birds to consume the feed in the throat. Furthermore, the weaker birds in the group will have enough time to eat after the dominant ones have eaten their share. Ayun, sinabi ko kanina, kailangan talaga ng light, lalong-lalo na paggabi. Ano? Ganyan. Proper light wing. Kailangan na iilawan hanggang dito ano po hanggang dun sa baba kailangan na iilawan talaga pag hindi po kasi na iilawan konti lang na pro-produce ng egg konti lang na pro-produce po ng egg pag hindi na iilawan ano po, the same time nagkakanibalism sila kasi hindi nila nakikita yung pagkain kanibalism yun yung nagtutukahan-tukahan sila nag-aaway-aaway yun yung kukos ng pagkalbo sa kanilang katawan. Losing feathers. Mixing of male birds. Ito naman po yung ginagamit nila pag uh, nagbe-breeding tayo. Ano po? Ito po yung difference between female and male. Ito po. Speckled chest feathers. 
Ayan. Then, pag male naman, brown. Ano po? Uh, depende po yan sa breed. Tapos, pagdating sa male, maingay talaga. Ano po? Loud, cal, crow, at maturity. Maingay yan. Pagdating ng male. The major cause of failure in quail racing is the faulty feeding practice employed by the racer. Most of our, most of our quail racer today feed commercial chicken feeds to quails. This is an erroneous practice and it should be corrected. The protein requirements of chicken and quails are different and as such, the use of chicken feeds in quail racing is not advisable. Meron din kaming nakikita ang uh, racer, pinapakain nila, chicken, chicken layer. Bakit po chicken layer, sir? Sabi namin, eh, because of this pandemic, naubusan daw sila ng stocks sa market. Kaya, ang um, binili, chicken layer, which is not advisable. Kasi nga, mas mataas ang uh, crude protein ng quail kaysa sa chicken. So, this is the comparison of crude protein requirements of two birds. We have the chick stage, uh, 28% pag quail. Pag chicken naman, 21%. Growers stage, 24% ang quail. Ang chicken naman, 16%. Then, pag, pagdating naman ng layer, 26% ang quail. Then, ang chicken, 15%. Ano? Yan po ang uh, crude protein requirements ng quail at chicken. Kaya not advisable. Ang mangyayari kasi pag pinakain natin ng chicken layer yung quail, unti-unti eh, unti-unti bumababa ang uh, layer yung pangingitlog. Kung baga hihina na sila. Kasi nga, hihina ng pangingitlog at the same time magkakaroon din sila ng sakit pag uh, chicken ang pinapakain natin chicken feeds Ayan. from the comparison of crude protein requirement of the quail and chicken we can clearly use we can clearly see the marked difference in the primary requirement of bird birds another disadvantage of feeding chicken mash to quail is the very occurrence of molting which affects severely the egg production Ayan. Yung molting na sila binabanggit, eh, yun yung ag, kumakalbo na po yung feather nila. Ano po? Severely the egg production. Ag, mag, Magka-affect yun. Yun yung sinasabi magdi-decrease. Ano po? The following consumptions different quail stage. Ayan. Ito po yung uh, uh, feed consumption nila. Ano po, pagdating ng quail. We have chick, bird, chick steaks per bird, 7 grams per day. Ito po yung nakakain nila. Chick booster po yun, type of feeds. Then pagdating ng grower stage, growing stage per bird, 17 grams per day. Chick grower po yun. Pagdating naman ng layer stage, 20, 23 grams per day. Yun po yung layer. Ano po? Ayan. Per bird po. Chick stage 7 grams per day. Uh, around 0 0.07 0 0.07 times 1,000 birds. 7 kilos po. Times 15 days. 105 kilos of feeds ang nakakain nila per day. So 1,000 birds. Pag grower stage naman, 17 grams per day. 0.17 times 1,000 birds, 17 kilos per day, times 20 days, 340 kilos po. Then, pagdating naman, pag layer stage naman, 23 grams per day. 0.23 times 1,000 birds is equal to 23 kilos per day. Yan po ang nakakain nila araw-araw per day po. 105 kilos of feeds pag chick stage. Pag grower stage naman, 340 kilos. And then, pag layer stage naman, 23 kilos. Ano po? 
additional information yan yeah. pag feed yan po po pag kumakain sila at the same time yung production marami ito naman po uh, good for backyard Kung napapansin natin, napaka konti po yung space requirement. Ano po? Ayan, ganyan stage, around 1,000 quail na po. Kaya, kung mapapansin natin, meron po tayong, yung sinabi, po, yung sinabi ko po kanina, meron pong, eto, plastic screen. Ano? Kung bakit may plastic screen, sinabi ko po kanina, uh, wild sila kumain. Ano po? Para hindi po wild kakain, yan, pwede pong lagyan po ng um, screen para hindi po nauhulog yung pagkain nila. Kasi marami pong nauhulog pag walang screen. Ano po? Para hindi po sila wild kumain. Wild po kasi sila kumain. Kaya naglalagay po sila ng screen. Para walang nauhulog. Less po sa feeds. Pag wala pong ganyan, yang screen uh, nakalagay approximately pagdating ng isang araw pag nagpakain ka around 5 to 6 kilos po nawawala sa 1000 birds ano po pag walang screen kaya kailangan, kaya kinakailangan po talaga meron screen ano po next ayan pagpapakain po ganyan Last night. Last night. Ayan po yung proper management po ng pagpapakain ng kuwi. Ayan. para wala pong mahuhulog na feeds para nakakain nila so ito naman yung cost and return ng house and cage no? so total of 29,000 naman po yung house and cage natin uh, divided by 5 years so Ito naman yung equivalent is to 5,800. So kung mapapansin ninyo, no, bakit 5 years? Yun po yung depreciation period ng kanyang house and cage. So every year, meron po tayong amount na 5,800 no, sa house and cage. Yun po yung tagal. No? Next is yung quail. 1,000 heads times 28 pesos. Equivalent to 28,000. Then feeds naman, meron tayong cost, 158,700. Electricity and water, we have 5,000. And vitamins and disinfectant, 4,600. Then total of 202,100 in 10 months. 10 months po siya. And po. Next, the gross income, we have the eggs, daily po ito na. Ito pong 716 per day times 30 days times 10 months, equivalent to 214,800. Now, kung mapapansin natin yung 700, kung bakit 716 per day yung kinompute natin, no? yun po yung average daily egg production natin sa quail. Ano po, hindi po, ay, tumataas naman po siya, dadating yung magpipik siya ng 850 to 900 sa 1,000 heads. And then, magdi-depreciate naman po siya after 8 to 10 months or 8 to 12 to 14 months, depende po sa management. And kaya, kinuha ko po yung 716 na production per day ano po yun po kasi yung average then quail cal 15 pesos po per head 
dito sa amin times 750 heads. Actually, kung sa 1,000 na heads natin sa layer, hindi naman totally 1,000 din yung uh, pag nag tayo, no? Marami din tayong mortality. Marami din namamatay. So, uh, ito po, uh, estimated cost, 750 heads times 15 pesos equivalent to 11,250. So, total of gross income, 226,050 pesos. Then, less expenses, we have 202,100. Then, equivalent to net income, meron po tayong 23,950 in uh, 10 months po na cycle ng quail production. Depende rin po yan pag sa management. Actually, mangingitlog yan 12 to 14 months. Kaya yung 10 months lang, kaya 10 months lang yung kinuha ko, dun lang kasi nag-start na mag-cal. Ano po. Pero depende rin yan sa management. Aabot yan ng 12 to 14 months. So ngayon, pwede din natin itong mapataas yung net income natin. No? Meron, din natin meron din tayong tinatawag value adding. So napakaganda ng um, quail farming. Hindi lang tayo naka-base sa quail production, sa quail production, sa uh, quail egg production. Hindi lang pala tayo naka-focus doon. Kundi meron lang padagdag na uh, Yung quail eggs, pag di natin nabenta, pwede din natin i-boiled, as salted, gawin natin pickled, or even as, yung nga, sabi na, balot, also known as pugulot. No? We have the uh, quail meat, can be served as barbecue. Yan, napaganda. Meron ding fried, as adobo, ginataan, or any dish, the way chicken is prepared. So, yun po. Para mapataas yung kita natin, pwede din natin idagdag yan. So, napakaganda ng quail farming. Ano po? Thank you and happy quail farming each and everyone.